Hey, it's Yazi. I hope you're getting used to that intro, because I'm not not going to give up on it for now. Got to use my old green screen for something. So yes, as you can see by the title, I think I'm just taking a step back from everything a little bit. And I think so should the Flesh and Blood fan page as well. It kind of feels like, you know how when your mum doesn't understand a joke, you have to over explain it to her so it doesn't feel fun anymore? That's kind of what it feels like at this moment. I know Kano just came out and he's amazing and, you know, I'm kind of scared of that thing. You know, the Cheese King. But yes, today's video is about how not to get bored of Flesh and Blood. Now, me, the procrastinating king, Yaz, I understand how to get bored and where I can just sit back and do nothing for three months and just play My Summer Car or play Dota or something or back to World of Warcraft. Here's my plan on how not to get bored during Arcane Rising. Now, when I started playing Welcome to Wrath, I had about four good mates who I'd play with regularly a lot. All of them got really bored, including me, probably about after the second month, and that's because we played it non-stop. We, we would go home from work, we'd talk about it, we'd join Discord servers and just talk about it all day. And then, probably about after a month, we all just stopped playing because... It was just boring. Um, we all of us had the same decks, um, all of them kind of had it maxed out or at least we used to play it maxed out with just proxy cards and all that and um, yeah, just stop playing. The most fun that I had during the game at the start of the game was draft events and sealed events and I feel like that's the first thing that I'm going to be going back to when I start playing. Arcane Rising. The first thing you should be doing is playing sealed and draft events. I learnt more in sealed and draft than I did anything else in this entire game. Reading all the rule books, reading all the lore books and everything. Playing sealed and draft is where the real thinking come in, comes in. And it's also the most fun as well. Now currently with this game it's either you have Fendel Spring Tunic or you have the Bravo Legendary, plus all the Mythics and it just feels like you lose to anything that has those cards. I feel like that's the only real big downfall of this game. If you don't have those three cards or four cards, it can just feel like a massive drag. And especially where you have maybe one Locals that has probably five people, it's really hard to think about spending what I think close to about 300 Australian into a good deck that will be able to top your locals of five people. So the best thing I'd recommend is to play a few sealed and draft events to start off when Arcane Rising comes out. From memory, I don't think they are bringing out starter decks. That could be also a great idea as well if they do bring out starter decks is just pick up starter decks and play with friends. But maybe later into the set, that's where I'd probably recommend to start fleshing out your entire build because like me, I decided to play Rhino straight away and everyone's like, oh, Rhino sucks. But if I played something else, I probably could have been a little bit better. But you know, you know I, I chose Rhino early and I'm just sticking my guns to it because if I don't, then I'm giving up on him. So yes, first off, sealed and draft events. And then secondly, after a few weeks, start building your deck. The third thing, when you start playing competitively and you have your fleshed out decks and all that, try not try to remember that for now it is just a game. Yes, you know, top prize has an extra two packs or something, but this game is really about just having a lot of fun. You know, while you play Yu-Gi-Oh, you kind of invest, you know, thousands of dollars into your deck and that's kind of everything that game is right now in my standpoint. And that's what it feels like it feels like you put all this money into the game and you know after you have all those cards if you lose locals once or twice to a guy who has twin twisters don't save um it can just feel really boring and repetitive so yes i guess the third rule is to keep calm relax and just have fun some key points are don't stick to one leader now i know kano just came out and i know he looks fucking amazing with his fireballs during your opponent's turn and killing them you know, back my turn, your turn, back my turn, your turn, just dealing damage. But that could get really boring competitive so quick, um, as I found with, you know, intimidating your opponent's entire hand, or not intimidating it at all, and losing. 
Am I rambling? I don't feel like I'm rambling. Now when the money cards do come out and it does start to show which decks are the good decks, that's when you go, okay, I'm going to put all my money into this and I'm going to put all my resources into learning how to play this deck. With Sealed and Draft, of course, it's a different story altogether. Personally, I prefer that format just all together, just because it's a bit more personal, you know, you get to open packs and, you know, get that gambling aspect going and everything. Hi, Editing Yazi here. Unfortunately, I started rambling for a solid five minutes of absolute nonsense. The main point that I was going to say was that every leader does have a really good way to win. And what I mean by that is I believe every deck is viable. And from what we can tell from all the other decks in the past and from what the guys from Legend Story Studios have said is that everything kind of scales together. You could probably play Brute, you could probably play Katsu, you could probably play any leader that's coming forward in these new sets and not feel too power crept. That's the main point that I was trying to go forward, but I started talking about more money and I started talking about things back and forth. But yeah, don't forget that just because you think your leader doesn't work or some leaders are better than others, don't forget that your leader is still great. It's probably just that people haven't figured out how to abuse it yet. Thanks. Back to the other Yazi. But yeah, that's the main idea. Kind of sit back, relax, kind of try and have fun with the game before, you know, there's that one good card like Fiendel Spring Tunic that if you don't have, it just feels like there's no point on really playing. Because if you go to locals, you're probably just going to get stomped on by that kid that has every card in existence. Hopefully, I get a good card reveal um, from the Flesh and Blood boys. I don't know. I haven't uploaded in a while. I'll shoot him a message and see what I get. Um, but I will be doing a nice little sketch about it. Um, hopefully, editing Yazi and thumbnail Yazi does a really good thumbnail for this. Hey guys, you can come out now. So it doesn't get 35 clicks like our last video. Some notes on the side, there's a channel called DMRA Amada. He does an he does amazing videos. Um, you know, he's gonna put so much more effort into his videos than I do. Um, his learn how to play, which I think I'll put right here, um, is probably the, the best explanation I've seen of how to play this game altogether. It's amazing. Um, and the other channel, which I can't think of right now, who does the lore videos right here, um, he'll also be uploading a lot as well. And lastly, but not least, if you want to have fun with this game, probably find a good singles like uh, F Fab Armory, this other one, and this other one here. They're probably the best choice on where to get your fun and enjoyment out of this game as far as investing in money into this game. It's very cheap, so it, and it's also helping the secondary market too, which is something that we probably really need a lot more right now of. But yes, hopefully this video does help somewhat in the slightest and just doesn't look like Yazi going through his third midlife crisis this year and last year. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, if you learned something or if this helped, like the video. Share it around and I'll see you in the next video.